Hey guys, this is Theo Joe Tech. I thought a cool topic to talk about would be computer power and is there a limit to it? Now you probably have heard of Moore's Law, which states that computer power doubles about every two years. This law actually is talking about transistor density because in CPUs, the actual power of the CPU is pretty much determined by the number of transistors. That's why you can see really old CPUs that have the same frequency, like 3.0 gigahertz, but they're a lot weaker than today's CPUs, obviously, because they have way fewer transistors. So the CEO of Intel actually at one point said that at this point, computer power really only doubles about once every 2.5 years. So that's kind of the cadence we're in right now. And let's talk more about how computer power actually increases. Now, as I said before, it's all about transistors in a CPU. Basically, as the transistor gets smaller, you can fit more in, it can do more stuff in the same amount of space. But obviously, if you get super small, there's gonna be a limit to how small you can make a transistor. What are we at now? About 14 nanometer architecture. They're probably gonna push it down to 10 pretty soon. But when you get small enough, you're not gonna be able to get any smaller because there is a fundamental limit, which is the size of an atom. And even bigger than that, once you get really small down to the size of a couple atoms, you're gonna get some atomic forces that are gonna interfere with how the transistor would be able to operate. But transistor density is only one option for increasing computer power. Obviously, you can't get any smaller than a certain point, but you can increase the actual size of the CPU itself using the same density. So you can add more transistors, it would just have to be bigger. We could also see higher gigahertz and higher frequencies to improve the processing speed, the number of operations per second. So you could have the same number of transistors, but make it more powerful if we figure out how to increase the frequency. And I'm sure we'll start to see some crazy new technologies altogether, such as quantum computing. A transistor works on ones and zeros, on and off, binary. But quantum transistors or computers actually has three. It's called a qubit. It can be either on, one, off, zero, or both at the same time. So I don't really know the specifics of that, but that would be able to exponentially increase the power of a computer if we can get that technology working. And as a side note, there are actually some quantum computers being in development that do work and are able to calculate very basic operations, but nothing that is actually useful at this point. So Moore's law has pretty much been true for the past several decades, but I'd imagine we're gonna start to see it not hold true for a while, it might slow down, but obviously computer power is never gonna stop improving as technology moves forward. We just might not be able to get past that fundamental transistor density. It's simply because of the atoms. You can't get smaller than an atom. But as I mentioned, there's gonna be other stuff we can do to improve efficiency, even in the software side. So I'm not too worried. I think we're gonna to start to see some amazing technology computers for a long while now. And I'm sure you guys have some thoughts on this, so I wanna hear what you guys think in the comments section. I'm gonna look forward to hearing from you and talking with you guys about what you think we're gonna see coming up in the future. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe for new videos three times a week. Should be worth it. If you wanna see some other videos on the right hand side, you can either click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. You can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm there all day, especially after I release a new video. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.